It is colder than anyone wants to think about <laughs> in this part of the United States. It is freezing. Our it's meteorologist Derek Van Dam is here to tell us about it. 75% of the country is actually below freezing as we speak. So mm. yeah, it, waking up to brutal, brutal cold temperatures and it's so cold that it's actually frozen some of these vehicles on a roadway. You got to see this video. Yeah. This is coming out of Massachusetts. Now this is a coastal area. And uh, we had coastal storm surge from the nor'easter that came through. It pushed in some of the water from the ocean. The temperatures dropped be behind the snowstorm and it allowed for the water to freeze in the roadways and also helped keep those cars frozen in time. Unbelievable. The neighborhood and streets there looked like a frozen lake. Can you imagine just seeing that from your, your house? Not pleasant. Check this out. We've got over 110 million Americans under a wind chill warning and advisory stretching from the Great Lakes all the way to the Mid-Atlantic and the New England coast. It is frigid cold out there. In fact, it's take your breath away cold right now. Look at this. You step outside in Chicago, negative 25 degrees. That's what it feels like on your exposed skin. Negative 21 for New York, negative 18 for the nation's capital. It's all thanks to the Arctic blast of air, but there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Computer models showing a somewhat warming trend. You get rid of the purples and uh, pinks in, on the color map behind me and you replace them with greens, you know you, you have a smile on your face, right? You can see it in the seven-day forecast. You still have to get through one or two more brutally cold days in the Big Apple, uh, but we start to see temperatures rebound above freezing as we head into the early parts of next week. More of the same for Washington.